If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn Chaos Engineering series. In this episode, we are going to see how you can install Litmus Chaos in DigitalOcean. As you know, DigitalOcean is a cloud company. They offer various products such as droplets, managed Kubernetes clusters, functions, databases, and storage and more. To get started, just go to qain.si/do to sign up for a free account. Once you sign up, you will get hundred dollars credits. So you can use this credit to run the Kubernetes cluster at least for one and a half months to two months based on the usage. After this, we are going to create a Kubernetes cluster using uh, this particular node, and then with uh, two numbers. So we are going to spin up two nodes with a 2.5 GB RAM, 4 GB total with uh, two vCPUs. You don't need something like a very advanced uh, plans like $40 per month. And if you try to spin up uh, $10 per month or $15 per month, sometimes you may not be able to spin up the Litmus Chaos agent. So I suggest you to go with $20 per month per node plan. And then we are going to install the Litmus Chaos on the cluster. And then we are going to patch the service to a load balancer so that we can access it from the internet. Now let us get started with the demo. So just go to qain.si slash do to sign up. And once you sign up and you log in, you will get this particular screen. And in the left side, just click on Kubernetes. So this is the place where you will create the cluster. It will take five to 10 minutes to create the uh, Kubernetes cluster. Again, it depends on number of nodes you're going to spin up. Very first step is you need to choose the data center. Always choose your data center region as close as you stay. So in this case, I'm going to select New York three and automatically it will select the VPC network. And if you scroll down next step, you need to select the Kubernetes cluster version. So in this case, it is available 1.22.8 and 1.21.11 but recommended is the latest version just select with 1.22 in this case and the next step we are going to spin up the cluster capacity so this is where you need to enter the node pool name which will be automatically generated once you launch this page and here you have to select the mission type basically the droplet so in this case we are going with some uh, basic nodes we are not selecting premium Intel uh, family or premium AMD family. We are going with some basic nodes. And in the node plan, we are going to select $20 per month so that we can balance the uh, power and the memory for Litmus Chaos. And here, number of nodes, just uh, click on this uh, negative sign so that uh, it will reduce it to two. And if you want to add another node pool, you can do that by clicking on this, but we are not going to do that. And if you want to create something very high availability control plane, in this case, you can just check this box, but it will cost you $40 per month. So in this case, we don't need it because we are just learning Litmus Chaos and Chaos Engineering. So you really don't need it. And here you can see the monthly rate and uh, uh, some random name automatically generated here and the project. So in the tags, I'm going to create Litmus uh, Chaos. So after you fill up all the details, just to review it quickly and click on create cluster. So this will take at least five to 10 minutes. And then uh, we can see how you can configure the Kubernetes cluster locally. Okay, now as you see the node pool status, uh, two out of two, which is up and running. To get started with Kubernetes, you can click on this uh, get started. And here it will give you two options. One is the automated, which is the recommended way. So here you have to install the uh, do CTL uh, client or if you want to configure manually, you can download the cluster configuration file and then you can uh, use this uh, command to launch it in your uh, terminal. So now let us uh, use this automated method just to click on the copy and let me go to my terminal. So in the terminal, just enter the command do CTL command and hit enter. So this will automatically configure the current uh, Kubernetes cluster as the context. Now, if I send uh, K get uh, nodes, it will list out uh, two nodes. And similarly, if I enter uh, kubectl uh, get pod in all namespaces, it will enter all the pods. So now let us uh, go to the digital ocean and let me show you how you can configure it 
uh, using the manual method. Just to click on the download the cluster file uh, configuration and just open it in your favorite editor and just uh, copy everything and in this case uh, I'm going to use the uh, lens IDE. So just open the uh, lens IDE and click on uh, settings and click on this plus and click on the add from cube config and just paste it here and click on add a cluster. So this will add the cluster and if you just uh, click on the recently added cluster it automatically launch the cluster in lens IDE. Now let me go back to the uh, digital ocean and uh, here uh, if you just uh, click on continue uh, you can uh, configure some uh, updating the uh, minor version so you can just uh, check this box and you can uh, uncheck this enable search upgrades we don't need it and click on save and continue and uh, click on great time done button and by default you will get the uh, kubernetes uh, dashboard so here if you click this uh, kubernetes dashboard it will uh, launch the Kubernetes dashboard in the uh, new tab and if you just uh, click on the all namespaces uh, you can see the different uh, namespaces available. So now let me install the litmus chaos here. So to install the litmus chaos as you know you need to apply the uh, file. Uh, you need to make sure you are using the latest version of uh, litmus chaos and make sure the service is cluster IP and now if I hit enter so this will create all the objects for the litmus chaos. Now let us wait for a few moment and then uh, let us uh, patch the front end and back end server. So just go to the Kubernetes dashboard and uh, just to select litmus here. Now you can see all the uh, workload status of litmus and if you click on the pods you can see uh, the pods are uh, coming up. So now let us wait for a few more moment and then let us uh, patch the service. So now all the pods are up and running and let us go to the terminal and let us uh, patch the uh, front end service. So in this case I am going with uh, uh, kubectl uh, patch service uh, litmus portal server service. I am going to hit enter. So this will create the load balanced uh, URL. And similarly I am going to uh, patch the uh, service for the front end. So now both the services uh, got patched. Now let us go to the Kubernetes dashboard and click on uh, services. And here uh, it is uh, patching and after a while you will get one uh, IP address and let us uh, launch that IP address in the browser. Now let us wait for a few more moment uh, to get this uh, service patched. Okay now as you see uh, front end and the uh, server got the external endpoints. So in this case you are going to uh, launch this particular IP address with the port 9091. So just uh, click on this link it will open the chaos center and just log in with admin and litmus. So this is the default username and password. For the first time a login it will ask you to set a new password but you can also skip for now. So this will take you to the home page. And if you click on the chaos agents here right now it is showing the status as pending. Let us wait for this agent to be active so that we can create some quick chaos experiment using the template. Okay, now as you see the chaos agent is active. Now let us uh, click on the litmus workflow and let us uh, quickly run some uh, workflow from the template. So in this case I am going with uh, potato head and uh, let me follow the on screen uh, instructions. And in this case let us just uh, quickly validate the potato uh, steady state uh, configuration and other uh, configuration here and uh, click on next, next and schedule now. So now this will uh, start executing the potato uh, experiment in our DigitalOcean Kubernetes cluster. Now as you see here in the pods all the uh, relevant uh, objects are getting created. So this will carry out the experiment and once the experiment is done we can also see the results in the chaos center. Now as you see the experiment is uh, successfully done. Now let us uh, go to the DigitalOcean and if you want to destroy the whole cluster uh, you can also do that. Go to actions here and click on destroy. But before that I want to show you the load balancer uh, configuration here. In the left side if you click on the networking. So here you can see your uh, load balanced URLs. Just to click on the load balancers. There are two load balancers uh, we created. One is for the front end and one is for the server. And if you want to configure or if you want to edit something you can click on the uh, more and you can click on edit settings to 
make some changes here. Once you're done with your experiments, make sure you destroy the Kubernetes cluster and make sure you delete everything. Otherwise, your credit will be used at the end of the billing cycle. So just to uh, make sure you delete everything, uh, go to uh, Kubernetes and uh, click on the uh, Kubernetes cluster here. Click on actions and destroy. So this will uh, display everything and check everything here. Load balancers, uh, volume and copy this and paste here and click on destroy. So this will uh, nuke everything. This action is irreversible. So please take care before you delete anything. So that's the case on my side. If you have any questions, please hit me in the comments and thank you for watching. Have a good day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.